hello guys in this tutorial I am going to show you how to configure the RoboDK EWA interface for controlling Kuka EWA from inside RoboDK so first you have to open the Sunrise Workbench from the inside Sunrise Workbench we have to add here the driver into the package LBR example applications so if you don't this if you don't have this package it'll be our example applications in your sunrise workbench uh, project you have to right click on the source folder go to new and in the new you have to choose a package and you have to insert lbr example applications be careful this name is case sensitive afterwards we have to go to the main page of the RoboDK EWA interface. I'm gonna put the link for this page down in the description section. Click here on the code and then you have to click on download zip. After you download the code, you have to unzip it and open the folder. Inside the folder, you find two subfolders. The first is the Sunrise controller. This, con this contains the driver uh, of the interface that you have to synchronize into the Kukaiwa robot. So just copy the file and paste it so when you paste the file you might get an error this error is because this package will requires you to use the direct servo interface so in order to add the direct servo interface to your project you have to double click here on the station setup.cat then you have to go to software and in software you have to click on the box direct servo motion extension afterwards you have to save the project save and apply and you see that the error has disappeared from the interface afterwards you have to synchronize the, this driver, the RoboDK interface, into the robot. And that's it. One last thing. Sometimes while you synchronize, you might get some sort of uh, a notification telling you that you have to install this driver. So if this happened, you have to go to installation in here and you have to say install. Here you don't we don't have to install anything because um, it's already installed in my robot but just in case if you get an error or something go to installation and hit, hit install and that's it after synchronization you have the RoboDK EU interface uh, ready to work on your Kukaiwa robot so in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your RoboDK in order to control Kukaiwa from inside RoboDK.